That it? With the semi finally free, they dump the rest of the gravel and get back to work on the rubble trench foundation. I put this geotextile in there, and then from there, it's just dumping in gravel. All right, we got the gravel in it. Uh, we've got it all packed in. Getting to the fun part now. This earth is looking real good. There's a lot of clay in it. That's what's gonna act as the binder. Yeah, looking good. So that's the epitome of sustainability right there. All in all, this is gonna be about 8,000 compressed earth blocks. Uh, we've got a machine that makes 300 per hour. That's gonna take about three weeks to make that many blocks. After making a large supply of compressed earth blocks, Ryan and Melissa get started on laying their first course. The thing about the compressed earth blocks is they're actually really easy. You really can't mess it up. Pretty much anyone can learn how to do it within a, a, just a couple hours. So uh, we're getting by with just our amateur labor force. We're putting about a can full of slurry down, trying to level it out as much as we can. And then we'll put the block down and we'll just make sure that it's level in both directions. To make our, what we call our slurry, we have to sift the soil to get all the rocks out of it because it is going in between the blocks. So it's gotta be pretty fine. Luckily, we've got several hands on deck today helping us with that. We've got a thousand down and we have about 7,000 to go. So hopefully we just have a smooth day of just making slurry and laying blocks down. You got lots of blocks for me? Yeah, about 160. On the surface, we're just laying blocks, but behind the scenes, we're sifting soil, we're fetching water from the pond. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's, uh, you didn't tell me I was putting in the one with the hole. Another trip back to the pond. <laughs> uh, it's a lot of manual labor. We're out here without electricity or running water, so we're just doing it the good old fashioned way with a wheelbarrow and a shovel. So it's definitely hard work, but it's worth it. Now it's really great to see the house coming along and the walls going up. We're out here working pretty hard. We're doing all this ourselves, so we're finding we're pretty exhausted at night. All right, final stretch, 6,000 blocks down. I wasn't quite able to finish last night. I looked up and it was one o'clock in the morning and I was still laying blocks. Once we get that up, then we can get going on the roof. Yeah. There's still about 500 blocks to lay. The crew's gonna be here today to put the roof on. And I'm starting to get nervous okay. on whether I can get this thing done. So our life right now is just laying blocks, just trying to get yeah. up to the roof line as fast as we can. When you start to get to the point where you're having to lift blocks up over waist level or certainly up above your head, then it's a lot more challenging. I don't think there's any way I can lift this up there. Oh, yeah, pass it through down here. Once you get above about five feet, it starts to get a lot of hoisting involved. I'm pretty exhausted. Last block before we can put the roof on. How many blocks? About 6,300. Bang on. Yeah, that looks perfect. Shoot Yay! yeah, man. Let's do it, let's get the roof going. Yeah. We got our earthen material here, same material we used to, to make our blocks. We got Tim White, who's the expert here in Texas on earthen floors. And Tim's here just using a wooden trowel to put it on nice and flat. This is the base coat. And we're not trying to make it perfect. We got to get this base layer down because it's three inches thick and it's going to take two weeks to dry. As you can see, it's just simple as mixing some mud and then just mashing this into place and troweling it down flat. Perfect. They get the three inch base layer of mud troweled onto the entire floor and switch gears into block lane mode one last time. All right. To connect two interior walls for the bathroom, Ryan and Melissa will build a block arch. We got this basic form that we built. They use a wood template to lay the blocks on to form the arch. And they look really cool. It's just another really cool artistic thing you can do with compressed earth blocks. This is the last one. Last it's a big, one. big moment, a lot of work. 
and we were able to finally lay the last block on this house. It's the last one. With the walls complete, Melissa and Tim work on a base coat of mud to cover the blocks. We're pretty tired, but we actually feel fairly accomplished. The base layer of the earthen floor is now dry and ready for a second coat. We're gonna trowel it again and just make the final layer of the floor. We have a lot of flooring to do still. We're pretty tired, but we're still on our timeline. We finished off the floor in the boys' room. It's Oxford, stop. No yummy snacks for you later. Oxford. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. But the good thing is that it's a really workable material, and I can just use the wooden trowel over it and just resettle in those areas that he walked on. In the 12th week of the build, Ryan is finishing the floors and plastering the walls as Melissa is out on a work trip. All right, come on in. Come see the Earth Block Palace. Wow. What do you think? It's incredible. Yeah. It's amazing. My favorite part of the finished house is the kitchen. I just like how it's open in there. <laughs> oh, I love this. Oh, wow. This is awesome. Yeah. yeah. Look at their view. Yeah, pretty nice, huh? Yeah. yeah. And then all the cows and horses will come up, and and then of course you can see all the wildflowers. Yeah, they're gonna oh, love it okay. here. Come on in. Oh wow. Check it out. I love nice. it. Yeah. What a great bathroom. <laughs> I like the arch with the earth yeah. blocks. Yeah. All right. Let's go show you the I like second the bedroom. Top windows too. The kitchen opens up into the little living area here. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's really cool. Oh, nice. These are pictures of our cows that we took. A little art gallery in the hallway. Going through. Yes, yeah, so when you have a fire in here at night and you're sitting out on the porch, you can enjoy it. And then when it's time to go to bed, you can still enjoy the fire from the inside. Uh -huh. Oh, nice. We went about a month over schedule. We were supposed to take four months. It ended up taking five months. You love steak, the mama made. Oh, the God. build itself cost 50000 We are right on budget, but uh, this being the first house we built, it looks more beautiful than I could have ever imagined. 